Hey everyone and welcome back to PowerPoint Academy, your go-to hub for unleashing the full potential of your presentations. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to use the Morph Transition, this nifty feature is like a secret weapon that can make your presentations look super cool. First we'll unravel the basics of Morph Transition that will bring your slides to life. Then I will show you in this step-by-step -step tutorial how to create a stunning presentation of the iconic Hagia Sophia. Watch as we blend the art of Morph with the rich tapestry of this historical marvel. This is PowerPoint Academy, and the Morph magic begins now. You can find the Morph transition in PowerPoint for Microsoft 365, PowerPoint 2019 and above on computers and laptops, and PowerPoint for the web. This transition will help you make smooth animations, transitions, and object movements across the slides in your presentation. As you can see here it says that the morph transition allows us to move things on the previous slide to their new locations on the current slide. To use the morph transition effectively, you'll need to have two slides with at least one object in common. The easiest way is to duplicate the slide and then move the object on the second slide to a different place. Then, apply the morph transition to the second slide. And here is the result. Another magic of the morph transition is that we can make a shape to morph into a different shape. I will show you how. Duplicate the slide and delete the star then insert a circle. Let's add a morph transition and see what will happen. So nothing happened, the shapes just cross fade. To force the star to morph into the circle we will use the custom naming scheme which allows us to rename the shapes. To rename the objects we will go to the home tab, then in the editing group, click select then selection pane. We will simply click the name of the star in the list to select it, then click it a second time to make the name editable. Press Ctrl plus A to select the entire name. Type two exclamation points followed by whatever else you want to include in the name. Finally press enter to preserve the new name you've typed. Rename the circle using the same name used for the star. Now let's see how it will work. Wonderful! Let's add some other shapes and rename all of them like we previously did. Let's click Slideshow. and enjoy the magic. Now that we've nailed down the basics of Morph Transition, it's time to put our newfound knowledge into action, we're going to dive straight into creating a visually stunning presentation using the Morph Transition. I searched for a transparent picture of Hagia Sophia and pasted it in a blank slide. Right-click the slide and select Format Background. Click Gradient Fill. We only need two gradient stops so drag the ones in the middle down to remove them. I searched for a gray color palette in coolers.co. Copy the code of the color you like by clicking on it like this. Go back to the slide and click Color down the gradient stops. Click More Colors and paste the copied code in hex. I think if we inverse the gradient stops it will look better. Now we will paste the title. Center to the middle and increase the size. Now let's use the font Copperplate Gothic Bold. Increase the size to 115. 
Next click text color, select the eyedropper and click wherever you like in the image. Zoom the image and position it perfectly. To initiate the morph transition we start by duplicating the slide. We can now proceed to reposition and resize the elements in the second slide. As you can see I move the Hagia Sophia picture on the right part of the slide. Now add your text to the second slide. Use Cambria as font. Change the text color using the eyedropper, then increase the size. Position the texts and the image perfectly. Please notice that the positioning of our photo in the first slide is different than the second slide. Paste the text of the first slide in the second one and drag it outside the slide. Now we will copy the text of the second slide and paste it in the first one. Drag it outside the slide. Now apply a morph transition to the second slide. And here we go. Perfect. Let's proceed by duplicating the second slide. Paste the text of this new slide. Select the existing text box, click Format Painter and click the added text to quickly apply the same formatting, such as color, font style and size. Now drag the text of the previous slide outside the current one. Position the new text perfectly and decrease the size. And then we will make this picture a bit smaller and move it from the right part of the slide to the left so that the movement will be from the right to the left. We will add these Ottoman Sultan and Byzantine leader PNG images to the slide. Resize and position them like this. Paste your text and use the Format Painter to quickly apply the previous formatting. Resize and position everything perfectly. Duplicate the slide and move the text above the slide. Now move these two PNG images down, resize then rotate them. Move the image of Hagia Sophia to the right and then resize it. Paste the text of this slide and use the Format Painter to format it like the previous ones. We will add some images to the left so position Hagia Sophia to leave some space to them. We can delete this history part because we don't need it anymore. After pasting the images one by one we will drag them to the left like this. Select the first image, go to Picture Tool, select Crop, then Aspect Ratio and click 1 to 1. Align the images to center then distribute vertically and drag them to the slide. Resize them. Select the images, go to Picture Tools, click Crop, then Crop to Shape and select a rounded rectangle. Select these three images and make them smaller than the first one. Position them. 
Now reselect them and go to Picture Tool, click Color, and select Black and White. Let's move the text to the right to keep the left completely for the images. Duplicate the slide, resize the first image like the other ones, and increase the size of the second images. Position them so that the big image is in the middle of the slide. Now change the color of the first image to black and white. And then recolor the second image. Here is the result of the image morph. Repeat the process for the third and the fourth image. Duplicate the last slide, change the color of the image to black and white and decrease the size, then drag the four images outside the slide. Now drag the text outside the slide. Move the image of Hagia Sophia to the center of the slide and increase the size. Now we will copy the objects that we want them to morph to the slides. We will start with the images. Next, the text. Now these two images. Let's control our slides for the last time. Finally click Slideshow and let's enjoy our creation. If you found value in this tutorial, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to PowerPoint Academy for more exciting content, and ring the notification bell to stay in the loop. Your creativity knows no bounds, and with Morph, your slides are set to shine. Thank you for joining us on this PowerPoint adventure. Keep practicing, keep creating, and most importantly, keep those presentations captivating. This is PowerPoint Academy, until next time, happy designing!